Okay, so first we give ourselves to the Lord and live to please Him every day. And the second thing is to check the Bible and see if God has already told us what to do. And the third step is to listen to God's voice inside your own heart and see if it gives you His peace. Well, that sounds easy. Well, there is one more thing. I knew there was a catch. Oh, no, Erin. You don't have to catch anything. <laughs> Now that you know what to do, it's important that you practice it every day. Just like knowing when to swing at a baseball pitch requires practice, knowing God's will needs practice too. And the most wonderful thing is that God is like our coach. He is always there to help and encourage us. Hey, Aaron. Don't you have another game tomorrow? Yeah, and this is the toughest team we're playing all season. Last year, they went all the way to the... National Championships. Yes. Well, just remember, Aaron, win or lose, the Lord is your umpire. And your coach. Colby, I think we should all go to Aaron's game tomorrow and root for him. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm going to scan the entire rule book tonight so I know what everyone is doing out there. Wow. Thanks, you guys. It'll be great having someone there to root for me. The Lord is always rooting for his children, Aaron. Pitcher's good. Only two of our guys are gotten on base. Yeah, but our team's doing pretty good. We're only down by one run. There's a runner on second, and there's only one out. Oh, oh, Make that two outs. Oh my, Laura! It looks like Aaron is the next one to bat. Okay, AJ, we've got two outs. This kid always swings at the first pitch. Let's throw the first one in the dirt. Let's try to get him to swing in a bad one, okay? Okay, coach. Okay, let's go. Let's get this guy. now. I don't know what's going to happen. A hit sure would be nice. Who's he talking to? I think he's praying. I know I am. Oh, Lord, please let him get a hit. Okay, here we go now.
Oh dear, Laura, if Aaron gets one more strike, then he'll strike out. It sure was great having all you guys there to cheer for me today. Even if we did lose, it was one of the best times I've ever had. I don't think you lost today, Aaron. I think you won a big victory. You learned to listen to God speaking right inside your heart. We all learned how to know God's will. First, you have to give yourself to God. Second, read the Bible. Because there's lots of things God shows us through reading His Word. And third, listen to your heart so you can know God's peace. That helps all of us know if we're making the right decisions. And remember how important it is to practice listening to God speak to you every single day. God wants to talk to your heart, but you have to practice listening. You won't always get it right, but the more you practice getting to know His will, the better you'll get at it. You know, when I was out there batting, I felt like God was right there, helping me decide what to do. After that, I felt I could give it my best shot and God would take care of me, whatever happened. The Lord was with you today, Aaron. God blessed you. Now, I just have one question. Aaron, if a runner steals a base, do they make him pay for it? 